Hey guys, and again from Big Bad Living. Nice for you to join us today. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about tomatoes. We do have a lot of tomatoes in our canning now. And the best today I'm gonna make actually canned whole tomatoes. We use them in the winter a lot to make chili, for example. And I thought, why are you making a video about canning tomato channel? A bunch of you might have never canned tomatoes before. So, why not using that part to start baking and then go from there? So let's see what we have. I did prepare already a couple things. I got my tomatoes in there. Some of them do have some bad spots, but that's fine. We're gonna cut them off later. I do have a sink with cold water here. We're gonna use that later. And I have a pot uh, starting getting hot water. That's gonna be important so we can peel the tomatoes. So I'll tell you what we are doing first and then I'll show you. First step, I do that first. I guess the order does not matter that much. I corn them. So I cut the corn out, the top piece. Then when the water's ready, they're gonna go in here. They're gonna boil in here for a couple minutes until the uh, skin starts cracking. And once the skin is cracking, I get them out. I use that because I don't have too much hot water in my cold water, so the cold water doesn't get hot. Then I try, uh, put them over in the cold water, leave them here for a while. You can't really peel them when they're just coming out, they're too hot. They stay in here for a couple minutes till they are cold enough, and then I'm going to peel them, and then we're going to can them. You can water bath can tomatoes, so it's perfect for beginners. So let's get it done. And then uh, put it in. No, I don't throw uh, the stuff on the ground. I have a couple of buffers behind me. I already got a couple of them and we do the rest together. Small ones I don't uh, core for now. I just get sure the green stuff. So, so let's get that running a little bit faster for you and we get it done very quick the pot's almost hot ones of the bad spots I do keep here for now I prefer to cut the bad spots off later otherwise I'm gonna have a lot of goodness in my water and it's lost when you cut the tomatoes be careful you can cut all the way through and get you really badly hurt so cut careful Before we are done with that part, let me know in the comments if you ever did uh, can tomatoes and how you do it. And if you did not ever can tomatoes, uh, let me know if it's worth it. Easy enough for you to be uh, worth it to try it out. Let me know. And if you did, let me know uh, if you do something different. It's always nice if we all can learn from each other. So we have them core now. Now we're gonna put them in a pot and I'll take you over with me. 
the water's pretty hot and I don't want to just throw it in there because it's hot so I personally put them in there like that too takes a tiny little bit longer but I really don't want to have my hands burst on the water so I'll put you back on here speed that whole thing up for you and let's get that done Oh, we do have them all in there now. Let's have a look. You see, that one is almost ready already. The pill is already coming completely off, so we put that in the water, cold water. Keep watching. That one's almost ready. You see the skin is cracking and it's almost falling off so we put them in a the cold water leave them in there for a while and then I'll bring you back when they're ready they are cold enough for me to clean out so I got my chars For that, believe me, I tried it. The white mouth chars are better than the small mouth chars. The tomato chip fit better. Then all I do is putting the skin off, putting them in the chars. This should be now fairly easy to. Uh, Clean up. That's the whole idea, the main idea of uh, putting them in that hot water first. I'll bring you, I'll speed it up a little bit for you and we uh, talk again when the frost shows fall. first chance well, I do fill them quite a bit and then I take a towel then I take a towel you can use a paper towel or something I do try not to have I use paper towels a lot because it's just getting trashed again so I have one of my washcloths that's really clean and I get a little bit of vinegar on that 
Then we can even have two above. So there's no food stuck on there. Or you're going to have a hard time getting them sealed. Get them finger tied. That means you just turn it over to it's fairly close. Don't yank on it or push on it or use my, uh, tools for that. Just have uh, finger tied. Uh, sometimes the top of the tomatoes is a little bit harder to get peeled. Also the small ones, if it's not so easy like that one, can give you sometimes a hard time too. So, sometimes a little bit harder but most of the tomatoes, when you have them in hot water long enough, they should get fairly easy peeled. And now we have the ones that are a little bit bad. Just cut them really, really far around off. Be generous with cutting the uh, bad spots off. Don't get too close and spoil your whole food with it and get yourself sick or something. Cut it off far enough. So you can be sure the tomato is fine, but one bad spot does not mean you need to throw the whole tomato away. So I do speed that back up for you, and I'm gonna bring you back in a slower time once I got those jars all filled up. Alright, you saw me open a couple of those jars if you can. Yes and yes, I just don't really have enough for that last jar and I do not care in half jars. Uh, might work but they don't have, a, sometimes they struggle with the seal and then I probably have more tomatoes in a day or two and then I break the seal again and make it all over again. It's, just pointless so if you have that and you know you don't get no more tomatoes get a smaller jar if you do like me know there are so many tomatoes out there just wait a day or two and there are going to be more i'm going to put that jar in the fridge for a day or two and fill it back up as soon as the rest of the tomatoes or the next patch of the tomatoes already and then i will go from there and fill the jar up and can it with the next batch. You also did see me uh, going over to the stove real quick when I was uh, making it a little bit faster and that was because I did not uh, start the water box then. Normally I do that already in advance so I don't forget it. And then the um, Q 
can is normally uh, the water in the can is normally and then the water in the can is normally boiling by the time I am ready for it that is my water pump can I you see the uh, so, well you can't see it hold on let me turn the camera real quick you can see even though it's cloudy and it's getting dark in the kitchen there's a grid in here which I forgot to open that's where I put the jars in you do not necessarily need a canner for that you can take a, a normal pot and put some cookie sheet or something like that in the bottom just so the when I put them in let that down and the jars are in and the water is cooking just so that the jars don't sit all the way at the bottom now I do put them in already now I normally wait with leave letting the cage down till the water is boiling it is not an absolutely necessity but I know may do wait but this time I'm gonna put you aside so you can see something and I put them in now so you can see it but I do need both hands for that so I need to put it somewhere else Put them down in a bottom. Get you back here. Now you can see the chores are not in the water. That is not good. The chores do need to be just covered with water. So I put your back over here. And I do go to get you some water. Only need to walk one around. So one more time. That is going to be fine. You can see now my fingers just a little bit in the water. I do put the lid on now. And now we are going to wait. And as soon as the water is boiling, it's going to be 15 to 20 minutes of canning. And once that time is over, I'll bring you back for the last steps. See you then. Sorry, it's already pretty dark, but now where you have them all canned, we're gonna just take the jars out. Be careful, they are really hard. Put them on a towel, like I do right here. And then we let them sit there till tomorrow. And tomorrow you go and label them and can put them on your shelf. And have tomatoes ready for the winter for some nice chili. Sorry guys, it was already too late the last, yesterday to uh, really finish up the video. So I hope you enjoyed the first video on canning tomatoes. I hope I can make many more of canning tomatoes and apples and much more. Let me know if you enjoy it, if you want to see more of it, if you want to see different things. Let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make it the way you like it. Thanks for watching, thanks for enjoying, if you like it please give it a like, subscribe and make the notification bell so you know when I have a new video up next week. See you then, have a good one.